Okay, so you're going to want to create a drawer of some sort in your design. So here I have um, a box made. It doesn't have the finger joints yet. Um, whenever you create your drawer, you're gonna want it to have some tolerance or, or space between the two parts so that the drawer slides in smoothly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create your drawer inside of here. We're gonna use the geometries from our previous parts to create this sketch. So we're gonna create a sketch on that back surface. I'm look at it this direction. We're gonna do construction line and we're gonna use this wall to create construction lines or these walls to create construction lines. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because we wanna do um, a box inside of this that's gonna be offset some distance from the edge of our, our geometry that we had before. So um, there's a couple of ways to do that. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try doing a center point rectangle and I'm gonna find the center of this line. I'm gonna find the center of this line <laughs> and I'm gonna draw my center point rectangle within this shape. I don't need a dimension, so I'm going to hit this uh, enter, enter, and then I'm going to remove those dimensions. So, uh, let's get out of dimension, let's get out of that tool, and we're going to delete these dimensions. And then I want it to be a, a specific distance from the edge. So I'm going to go from here to this edge. I want to make it a tenth of an inch, so 0.1 inches. Uh, it's actually, let's go. Half of that, so we're going to point zero, we'll point zero five. Okay, it's going to give me a little bit of space, and then we're going to go here and here. Same thing, point zero five, and there we go. There we have it. So we have a little bit of space in between, so that our drawer slides in smoothly. Um, it will be somewhat loose; it won't be super tight, but that's okay because um, if you want it tighter, you can change this. Uh, this distance here, but you do need some space. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the sketch. And then I'm gonna extrude this sketch. And this time I wanted to go all the way up to this face right here. So I'm gonna go here and instead of blind, I'm gonna go up to face. And I'm gonna go up to this face. So what it's done is it's now created a box within our box. So once I have that box made, I'm gonna go ahead and hide parts one, two, three, and four. And we'll go ahead and hide part five. We need to change this extrude to new. It needs to be a new extrusion so that it's visible. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make this into a box. So I'll do it the same way that I made my other box, except this time it's gonna be this top face that's gonna be open. And so, um, we're gonna go ahead and do our thicken tool. So thicken, and it's gonna be the, equal to the thickness. And we're gonna change the direction. It's gonna be new. I'm gonna click the opposite sides, this side, this side. Make sure we have new selected. I'll go ahead and shift, shift enter. Let's just go into another thickening tool. We're gonna to do this side and this side. Change the direction, make it thickness. I'm going to use our thickness variable that way if we decide to make it out of a different material it will we can just change that variable and we want to make sure that it's on new and shift enter and then do the bottom bottom change the direction thickness and hit enter and make sure that it's on new once it's on new i click the check mark and now i want to delete this gray part which is going to be part gray part which is part six so I'll go ahead and delete part six and now I have a drawer so I have a box within a box so let's go ahead and turn everything back on so you can see everything so I have a box within a box okay no drawer would be complete without some sort of um, handle um, I'll show you a simple way to make a handle you guys can also 3d print your handles if you'd like uh, but this is just an easy way to get your box open. So we're going to go ahead and create a sketch on here, a new sketch on this surface. Um, here I'm going to find the center of my this line, and it's going to be there. Let's go ahead and uh, more so we can see. And I'm going to create a cutout, just like this. And then 
I'm going to go ahead and draw a line from this side of the circle to this side of the circle. And then I'm going to trim away this outside edge. And now I'm going to finish the sketch. And this time I'm going to extrude. This time it's going to be a removal extrude. I'm just going to remove this. And it's going to be through part nine. So now I have a little handle cut out. And then I can go ahead and I'm actually going to go ahead and change the tolerance between the top and the bottom of the drawer. So I'm going to go back to my first this sketch number two. Edit this sketch. I'm going to change this to 0 0.025. Five. It's, it's a lot tighter now. And now I'm going to do my laser joint. So go to laser joint. And make sure it's on automatic. And select everything. It's going to go ahead and add my finger joints for me. And there you have a laser cut drawer for your parts. Okay. It's important that you do your finger joining afterwards um, so that all your parts stay together. And I'll show you guys right now what I mean. So let's go ahead and get rid of this finger joining. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. So let's say I wanted to make uh, I want to make this wall come up higher. So this wall I want this wall to be higher. So if I want to make that wall higher what I can do is I can um, I can extrude this edge. I want to go add. It's going to add it to this part. So I have to go merge scope and then select that part, add it. And then let's say I want to extrude it four inches. So then now I can add that and it, it'll be included as this part. If I did it separately, it wouldn't be able to add it to there. Okay. So um, make sure that you're doing your laser joining afterwards, after you have everything all merged together so that they're overlapping. So now when I go ahead and do the laser joining, the laser join, automatic. Now when I select everything, it'll make a laser joint, but it won't split this part into multiple parts. It will include this part as part of this bottom part. It'll have a nice seamless laser joint. Um, assuming that you wanted to make like let's say some sort of divider here um, like what I can do is I can create a sketch on the surface um, actually let's go ahead and delete this laser joint so that it, like I said everything makes a nice seamless laser joint I can do a sketch on the surface okay <clears throat> so there's that sketch and I can do a corner rectangle dangle now. So I'm going to start at this line. I'm going to go down here all the way to this right here, this edge right here. And this is going to be 0.125 because it's going to be a thickness of my material. I'm going to hit enter. Notice that red pops up. That's just saying that that constraint is over constraining. So I can delete that over constraint. And here I can extrude this. I'm going to go new. Extrude this new. And I'm going to go up to face. So instead of blind, we're going to go up to face. Up to face, just like that. It's going to be new, up to face. Go ahead and finish this off. Now remember that in order for the laser joint to work, this piece has to extend into this bottom piece. So I need to extend it another eighth of an inch, or I can go up to face. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and suppress this. So I'm going to hide this part. So let's hide part four. And now I'm going to extrude this an eighth of an inch. So we're going to thicken this edge. This not this edge. We have this edge right here, an eighth of an inch or thickness. Okay. Let's go ahead, go ahead and add it to it. And then now we're going to go part four. Unhide part four. Notice now they overlap. Okay. Now, assuming I want to put it back on this, so if I want to put it back on this. Pretty easy to do this back part. I'm going to create a sketch on the surface. So a new sketch on the surface. And this time I'm going to do a corner rectangle again. Corner rectangle. 
So I'm going to go from that corner to that corner, and then I escape. And now I'm going to extrude this the sketch that I just did. The sketch. I'm going to change the direction and the depth. depth the, the thickness is going to be thickness. Okay, making sure that it's on new. Actually, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and add it to this back piece for efficiency. I'm going to add, once it says merge scope, I'm going to add it to this piece right here. Okay, so now this piece is merged with this piece. So now when I put everything together, I can go ahead and laser join everything. Laser joining, everything, automatic, select everything. Four pins is fine. Now it's seamlessly added everything together. Okay. Uh, we can even take a look inside of our box. If we hide this part right here, so we're going to hide part nine. If we look inside of our box. Even this wall has now be, been finger joined. Okay, so that's that's creating a drawer, and it's also creating dividers. If you want to create dividers, um, if you want to add stuff to make it look a little bit nicer, so you don't have sharp corners. You can go ahead and add a fillet to this corner here. And I fill it to this corner here. We can change change it to 0.5 and it'll round out the edges. Now remember you can only create these round edges in 2D. You can't do three-dimensional round parts here because it is flat packing. So you want to round out corners to make it uh, a lot safer and look a lot nicer. All right? So there it is.